This film clip will briefly show you how to use the uh, calibration script to calibrate your OpenShoe module. Uh, the script, or rather the script package, uh, is available on the openshoe.org homepage. Uh, the calibration itself is based on a blind system identification approach in which the gravity is used as an excitation signal. Consequently, the calibration is primarily for the accelerometers. Uh, for, for further information, you may have a look in the article mentioned in the information below. So to do the calibration, you need, obviously, a module. This is a MIMU 22BT model. Uh, you need a calibration body. This is an icosahedron. Uh, if you have a 3D printer, you can print it yourself. Uh, otherwise, you'll probably have to order it from some online 3D printing service. Uh, you could potentially also uh, build something like this yourself. The, the exact look is not that important. You need uh, at least 12 fairly evenly distributed sites. Uh, but it, to print it, the STL file is provided on the home page. Then of course you also need a computer with MATLAB and the script itself, or the, the script package. If you don't run 64-bit Windows, you will also have to compile uh, some MEX files. Before you do the calibration, you will have to let the, or you should let the module warm up uh, to reach a stable temperature. Simply turn it on or let it sit for say 10 minutes, that should be sufficient. The module needs to be paired with the computer and the mod, uh, module model and the COM port of the module will need to be filled in uh, at the top of the main file of the script package. So to do the calibration itself, or perform the calibration, uh, run the main file in the script of the script package, open the main file and press F5. Uh, now you will be prompted on the screen with some text saying that you should let the module warm up, blah 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 blah, and then finally press any key to start. So press a key. What we should do now is that the, you should turn the body and let it sit for a few seconds on each side. So when you're done, simply press stop. Um, now we're almost done. Uh, what will happen is that the stationary periods uh, are picked out. The stationary periods are used to estimate the calibration parameters. The calibration parameters are subsequently used to generate a user calibration header file, uh, which you will see here in the current folder now. Uh, this user calibration file, user calibration underscore mimu22bt.h, 
uh, you should add to the config folder of the uh, navigation algorithm uh, project, compile the code and load it onto the mod, uh, module. Finally, what hap uh, happens is that the data and results are displayed. So what we see here in figure one uh, is the complete recorded data, the specific force on top and the uh, angular rates in the bottom. Uh, blue regions are the regions picked out uh, as stationary periods. Red regions are the dynamic periods. Uh, white regions are stationary periods which are either too short, too long or redundant, so they have simply been ignored. Uh, in figure 2 uh, we see the selected uh, specific force data. Uh, the raw data from individual IMUs is displayed in blue, green and red. Uh, the compensated data, the data compensated for the calibration, is shown in cyan, magenta and yellow. Uh, and the combined data, uh, the combined compensated data from all the IMUs, uh, is, uh, are shown in black. Um, also the corresponding magnitudes are shown here at the top um, in silver, gold and black. So a good sanity check you can do uh, is to have a look at these magnitudes. Uh, so if we look at the combined magnitudes, they should be fairly constant and equal to the gravity, which is here, 9.82 roughly. Uh, this is not beautiful, but, but it's okay. Um, figure 3, uh, same thing, but for the angular rates. Uh, same color coding. Uh, you should not see any significant drift here. Uh, if you do, uh, you probably have not let the module warm up for sufficiently long. That's it. Uh, thanks for watching.